to birds just flew past me now there is two spirits ahead of me and I just moved past a gateway behind me on the left and on the right said and brother now as soon as I said left and right they two ahead of me split Sai Tembrose Bradia. So this part here is a gateway. And when you move past these two spirits, just as those two spirits were a gateway, just as the two birds were a gateway, Sembroi Paria, we enter into a, oh, a new environment entirely. We enter into a new environment entirely. Peraska, the, uh, the guy who was in the green that I was just showing you, bent down for a moment, and then his pet. In the natural, that's just him reacting to whatever he thinks he's reacting to, but it is a response. Woo! That was close. It's an aggressive, a response an aggressive response i hope <laughs> i hope i hope i hope my hope is always, i always have a hope that things work out nicely but red 38 the number 38 to me signifies 55 to 8 god says there's more so let me observe let me observe let me observe but it has to do with that the green eye you are being watched <laughs> you are being watched there are certain people watch my videos they shouldn't be and likewise in the spirit there are things watching me that shouldn't be Again, EC, Wes, EXP, is the number plate there, I don't know what that signifies, EXP. Again, security company, you're being watched, and an I there as well. So eyes everywhere, and everywhere down this street, eyes everywhere eyes everywhere Zebarda and then there's a car coming out from that direction eyes everywhere I anticipate these things to be they are oh my goodness this is a manifestation of this house, these birds, the, there's a heaviness here and there's someone by the window there as well. But there is a heavy, heaviness here. I can't even define it and describe it for you, but it's heavy. Very heavy spirit. Even my phone is <laughs> looking away. <laughs> Doesn't want to look anymore. This phone is a spirit. I'm not going to try to even define what that means, but it's a spirit. Semar Behero. And the person in that house by the window is a little boy. He's wearing a red shirt. Now, the significance of that is when I went to the mountain, there was a person wearing a red shirt. Again, eyes. So I'm being watched. There was a person wearing a red shirt. If you remember, I saw him in the spirit. And then I moved towards him. And then he appeared. Lemons. And the house I was showing you was here. It's even got a red step to it. 
but this is where he was when we saw him, the guy in the red shirt. So I'm starting my vision, because this is a vision for you now, from that last place. And again, the boy in that window just happens to be wearing a red shirt, and there was a heavy spirit before we saw him wearing the red shirt. So that, in essence, just says it's not a coincidence. It is not a coincidence. This is where we were. It says no dumping, no littering, but as you can see, people are dumping, people are littering. So this is where we came from. This is where we were recording. From there, we were recording. Actually, no, we walked here up until there, about. And then we saw him there at that gate, the man in the red shirt. Nothing coincidental. So that is where we're beginning our next vision from. So we are here on this street. And God says I just need to keep my camera like this. I don't know why. But I'm being told to be very still. There is a BMW, first car to manifest. A bison brode vera soprani. Bertemar de Bora. Zerneshe Pradia. When we were in the mountain, the car that went past was a Mercedes. Here at this corner today, it's a BMW. Triple Threat is a BMW, and we've spoken about that already Germans or German engineering, or the German spirit, or a territorial spirit. So, again, that is just a manifestation, not coincidental. Nothing is a coincidence. The last journey we began, we saw when we were in this area, there was a dead bird. And I always say, when you see death, and this one, sorry to be so graphic, has got tags to it, which means somebody owns that death. Somebody owns that death. So again, and there's now a red car approaching. So again, not coincident, red shirt, Red shirt, red shirt, red car, dead bird, red blood sacrifices. That is how I put the pieces of the puzzle together. That is how the Spirit speaks to me. That is how the Spirit ministers to me. Which means where we are, there's a lot of death, there's a lot of sacrifices, there's a lot of witchcraft in particular. So there's witchcraft here, a lot of it, a lot of it. Zemara, Shembro, and they are all watching me. So they all see me, they know who I am. They know what I am, more importantly. I spoke a word sometime that when Jesus approached the man who was Zepar de Gejo Pradia, those lemons, those lemon, that lemon tree, Something about that. So something in your food as well. Savero mesh kendara. Semar desert tabar kevai. When Jesus was dealing with the man possessed by the spirits, if you remember the story, the spirits knew who he was. The spirits knew who he was. Likewise, the spirits here know by now they know me as a son of as a son of God. Those guys are just watching me. They're looking, they looked intently in my direction. Obviously, maybe it's because I'm carrying a phone, but it's beyond that. They are looking, they are watching. They are watching. I am being observed. Which will happen when you also start to get deeper into the spiritual things. People will start to take note of you, just as Jesus. While he was a carpenter, while he was a lady in a red apron here at this child's school, so we're speaking about sacrifices, and not too far from that corner is a playground, nursery, school center. And the lady, you probably won't see her very well, is at the door. She's wearing red, red sacrifices. And this is obviously a kid's place, but I won't show you for too long because there are demons deposited there and I, I don't want to wrestle with these ones, not just yet.
a bus on the move. That's what this place represents. Children, Vernai Embradia, but I'm so confused now how I got here. <laughs> Arme 66, Jay Z, Jay Z, we spoke about before. 66, we spoke about the number of the enemy. 66, Parea, Empire, and Anglair. Okay, there's nothing else there to see. So red, 66, all of these are just speaking that this place, the devil is in rulership here. The devil is in rulership here. His spirit is here everywhere. In the nature, you would never detect it, but in the spirit as I am now, you can just feel that his tangible... You know the devil actually has got a tangible manifestation about him. Just as the house, the reason the house was so heavy is because it's, it's concentrated where it is. So I can sense that there's a spirit there. But even here on these roads as I'm walking. On these roads as I'm walking, that dog was standing very still for a moment and I could sense something was not okay. It's move, on the move now. Sibara. I know some of you might think I make this stuff up or I just create it in my own mind, but some things are hard to ignore. They are just there for you. Nevertheless, so this place tangibly, it's, it's got a heaviness to it. It's got a heaviness to it. There is a spirit here and I know it's demonic, but if you were just here in the natural, you wouldn't. You may not detect it and even if you detected it, you wouldn't know what it is, but I know it is witchcraft. And it is very prevalent where I am, but it is also quite prevalent to many of the places that I go. It's just people don't. People just don't. <laughs> For whatever reason. Panel beaters. That might actually be a word for it. It's like a broken car. Just as this place is broken, but... Oh, this feels very strange. Oh boy. Shamar Sentezi Paradea. Woo! I feel like I'm about to burp. So now that I'm speaking about it, it's manifesting more because I am, it's, it's becoming even more tangible to me. Because I've acknowledged it. Woo! It is now manifesting even more. And that's a word I always say. When you point out the devil, he manifests. When you point out the devil, he manifests. So is it a case of that you shouldn't be pointing him out? There where this canopy is, I just saw, it's like there's a shadowy smoke. Something just moved out of it. In the nature, there's nothing. It's just a, it's just a canopy. But something just moved out of it. I just felt it in a sense, and it's a big spirit. It's a big spirit, and it's probably connected to this or these peoples that I'm about to interact with here. But she's getting something, it's getting something. So at this intersection, Esmer Kemara, it's a thatch, thatch. There's a sign that it says thatch. It's a thatch roof, thatch roof, thatch. <laughs> The thatch roofing. So Mar A Sembradia. Animal spirit. She's wearing a something of a, a leopard. Could be a leopard, could be a cheetah, I don't know. One or the other. But animals. So Rai Entroisemendro. Kerme Eve Santero entering deep into the darkness. It's dark where I am now. What I've just oh Celeve Semara de Vejero. If you watched my last video you will know what this means. Last time we saw it, as I said, I saw it in a dream, in a vision, and it was a word or a confirmation to say this is where you begin. And when we begin with this in the last video, <laughs> to the mountain, we saw what happened there. So again, this is just another reminder to say you are still 
right place, right time, you're still in a vision. This place is so dark. How I would love for you to envisage it is that I am walking in utter darkness right now. And this house is manifesting. The house itself is manifesting. Men dry. So things here are actually alive in the spirit, but they're in a spirit of death and demonic presence. So this house, you need to see it in the spirit. It's actually alive. The house itself is alive. <laughs> and cartoons capture that very well. I think I've seen some haunted houses where the house itself swallows people. That's what there is. Penal beaters. So it's seco, sec, 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 sapradive. Prene fer enkre pre escandroi. Paisne englar temendre kerai. Zimpra di rea. Ermendora. Red Mercedes. Red Mercedes. I don't think I even have to say much more than that. Red Mercedes. <laughs> So sacrifices here, a lot of sacrifices here, and everything here is a trap, everything here is in utter darkness in the natural as you can see, it looks fine, but it is in a dark place. People love to think or sense or see or believe that hell is a far off place, space somewhere that you can only access it when you are getting drunk in the spirit I'm about to once you die but the fact of the matter is the number plate has got 70 written on it and I just tripped or I bumped into one of these sticks and after I bumped into that these birds have begun to manifest around me so all of this is a manifestation the whole place is a manifestation as a matter of fact it's a very dangerous place spiritually where I am right now in the natural very safe environment security everywhere people are free but spiritually, when I manifest my kind of a spirit, that's when the true nature of this place is revealed. Again, the devil hides in plain sight, and that's because nobody challenges him, but someone like me who does challenge him. The wind has begun to rustle. The birds are singing all of a sudden. The trees are rustling in the wind, so everything is actually talking to, it's one spirit. It's one massive dark spirit and all of them are actually speaking to one another. They are acknowledging, that's why God was saying eyes. You're being watched, you're being observed, so be careful. So everything here is alive in uniform darkness. And the people here are also part of the darkness because none of them are doing anything about it. They are comfortable in it. BMW white, red card just behind it. So they have split from just one, which was a German car, red, to two separate cars, one German, one white, and one red. So they are split and they are talking. Actually, you may not see it or hear it, but they're actually talking to one another. The spirit itself is talking. So everything here is in one one space, one communication. And there is satellite dishes and you might actually see them. I feel like I'm about to get run over actually. Maybe I should get off the road. <laughs> it might be a start. So again, eyes, eyes. And again, this place tangibly, I can sense it. This place is heavy in a spirit and that spirit is not of God which means the whole place, the whole neighborhood, all the people here, oh, as scary as it may sound, are bound. Every person here is bound by this spirit. They may or may not know it, who knows. Semar devora, dembre gargora. Maybe they just don't care, I'm not sure. Okay, so I've come to this street corner. Question is, do I go straight? where it gets heavier, or do I go down, left or right, left or right, 
There's someone coming from this direction. 2389 blue. So there's a blue Audi there which is still German. It's coming from that side. Sounds like a beast, doesn't it? They always say cars sound like a beast. So that's a German engineering that is a still Germany. Audi, Mercedes Benz, BMW, all German brands. That one was blue, so they have changed tactics from what I am discerning. So the direction I'm going in now is a bit heavier in the spirit. Things are doubling up. That's a Ford that just passed. Number plate 77KK, which means double. Twins, twin towers, twins, twins, twin eyes, twin, just twins, double of everything. Everything is double. And then, so 96, XX, again, double. Say, Maison Bredia. And 38 on that number plate, which is the one I started off with when I began here. 38. But again, jewel. There was two gentlemen on the other side. There is two that have come together on this side. So everything here is dual. Dual means company. Dual means, and again, obviously, the eyes watching. So all of these spirits, everything here, the houses, the birds, the trees, the road itself, very connected. 